Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. Today we're going to be talking about five queens who have been banned from Drag Race or have had some kind of beef with the show, including Max, Enorma Jean and Delta Work. All that and more coming up in today's video, so let's get started. And before we start, I would just like to clarify that when I say the word banned from the show, what I mean is queens who have had beef with the show or RuPaul and are therefore unlikely to be asked back on the show. I have no insider knowledge of whether queens are actually banned from the show, so this video is just based on publicly available information and is intended for entertainment purposes only. Please also note that because we'll be talking about different queens and their time on Drag Race, there is a spoiler alert in place for this video. Max Max competed on season 7 of Drag Race US and placed 9th. Max actually had a pretty good run on the show and racked up two mini challenge wins and one maxi challenge win. Max generally received positive critiques from the judges and the only negative critique Max ever got was from Michelle saying that her grey hair and makeup were getting repetitive. However, in episode 7, which was the Snatch Game, Max portrayed season 4 winner Sharon Needles and did not do a very good job. Then, during the main stage critiques, Max was shown to loosen her corset and production stopped and members of the production crew came over to help Max. They then cut to a shot of Max sitting down on the steps of the stage and singing a song which Michelle didn't look very impressed at. And on the show they made it look like Max was just taking advantage of the moment and was causing some drama and being a diva. After the show aired in 2015, Max said that the edit made her look crazy and that it didn't exactly happen the way that it was shown. In an interview with Joseph Shepard, Max said that she felt faint and her corset was uncomfortable, and the producers had told them previously that if they ever felt unwell, they should let them know, which is what Max did. Max said that it was actually RuPaul who asked her to sing something, presumably to try and take Max's mind off it, or it was a reference to the Judy Garland movie A Star Is Born, where Judy sits on the edge of the stage and sings. Max said that she was surprised that the show decided to keep that part in and questioned what their motives were. And Max also wondered whether the show was trying to add in an element of unlikability about Max because she was in the bottom that week and that would have justified the judge's decision. Also back in 2018, Max tweeted saying, I would love to be back in the game. I would love to be back on VH1. I would love to be verified and gigged and all that comes with it. I simply have not been cast and I do believe casting is closed. And another time she tweeted saying, and I ain't going to be on All Stars anything because one, they haven't called, and two, why willingly place yourself around untrustworthy people? So because Max has been slightly critical of the show on multiple occasions, and she has also said that she wouldn't go back on, this is maybe why she has not been asked to be back on Drag Race again. I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Adam and Eve. If you want to spice up your love life, either for you and your partner or just for yourself, Adam and Eve have just the right products for you. And what's better is that you can use the code DRAGT and you'll get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Another reason I really like this company is because they have been pioneers in the industry. The company actually started back in 1971 and the idea was to sell condoms by mail because at the time you had to go to the doctor or health clinic to get them. And the company was involved in a lengthy legal battle with prosecutors over privacy and freedom of speech. Eventually the case went to the Supreme Court and the government backed down. So it's companies like Adam and Eve who helped make change in society. Adam and Eve is also great because they have 24-7 customer service, a 90-day no-hassle returns policy, they offer discreet shipping, and 20% of their profit goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So make sure you check out Adam and Eve and use the code DRAGT to get 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Thanks again to Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to some more juicy drag race gossip. Willem Willem competed on season 4 of Drag Race US and was disqualified from the competition in episode 8. 
I think for many Drag Race fans, when you think of queens that have been banned from the show, Willem is probably one of the first queens you'd think of. On season 4, Willem did very well and racked up two mini challenge wins and three maxi challenge wins and only landed in the bottom once. In episode 8, which was the Frenemies episode, Willem and Latrice were partnered together and ended up winning the challenge, with Sharon Needles and Fifi O'Hara landing in the bottom and lip syncing. However, Willem was called forward and RuPaul said that it had been brought to their attention that Willem had broken the rules and that Willem was disqualified from the competition. And then, at the finale episode, everyone asked what did Willem do? And the story that Willem said is that she was receiving conjugal visits from her husband and that's why she was eliminated. However, since then, Willem has said that that story was made up and that she only agreed to go along with it because she wanted to get on All Stars. Willem has talked about this in several interviews and on her podcast as well as in a series of tweets that are pinned on her Twitter. Willem explained that she actually wanted to get kicked off the show so that she could go and star in a musical at the Fringe Festival. So she was deliberately breaking the rules and telling production what she was doing, such as stealing things from set like shoes and feathers, as well as having a computer. Willem also went on to explain that she slept with one of the producers of Untucked during a show in New York and they had sex in the bathroom and were eventually thrown out. Apparently Willem then had lunch with this producer, who said he was trying to get Willem back in with World of Wonder, but nothing came of it. Willem also confirmed that she was booked to be on All Stars 1, but then at the last minute she was cancelled and she was annoyed about it because she had turned down lots of paid work to clear her schedule. Since then, Willem has repeatedly criticised RuPaul and the show, and apparently Willem once yelled at RuPaul in the street and RuPaul told Willem to F off. Willem has also said that RuPaul is out of touch and has continued to spill lots of backstage tea on her podcast Race Chaser with Alaska, as well as in other interviews. So because of all of this, it's probably unlikely that Willem will ever be appearing back on Drag Race anytime soon. Enorma Jean Please make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for my future videos. Enorma Jean competed on season 1 of Drag Race Italia and was eliminated in episode 4 due to bad behaviour. For anyone that didn't watch Drag Race Italia, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what happened. Enorma had had several disagreements with other contestants throughout her run on Drag Race and she had voiced her opinion several times which caused a lot of tension. In Untucked of episode 3, there was a huge argument between Enorma and most of the rest of the cast, especially Avant-Garde. At one point, Enorma started shouting and swearing at members of the production team and stormed off set. Tu, voi, autori, a me a 46 anni, mi potete mettere in mezzo a questi sh- Una competizione sta c- In the next episode, which was Snatch Game, after a Snatch Game challenge had been done, Enorma and Avant-Garde were asked to come to the main stage and the rest of the cast were watching backstage. The judges said that as punishment for their inappropriate behaviour towards the production staff, Enorma and Avant-Garde had to lip-sync for their life and one of them would be eliminated from the competition. In the end, Avant-Garde won the lip-sync and Enorma sashayed away and the other contestants seemed happy that Enorma had lost. After the show aired, Enorma went live on Instagram and explained what happened. According to Enorma, the other queens ganged up on her and conspired to get her kicked off. Enorma alleged that the queens deliberately started arguments with Enorma to make her look bad and to trigger her. Enorma also said that she didn't think that she did anything wrong. And in fact, Vanessa Van Cartier, who was the winner of Drag Race Holland Season 2, joined Enorma in the live. And for any of you wondering why, Vanessa is actually of Italian origin and she speaks Italian fluently. Anyway, on the live, Vanessa actually defended Enorma and supported her and said that Enorma didn't really do anything wrong. A few months later, Enorma posted on her Instagram story that Priscilla, who is the host of Drag Race Italia, had blocked her on Instagram. In the post, Enorma criticised Priscilla, effectively calling her fake and, quote, she invited me to feel ashamed of myself, I hope she will be proud this month. There have also been some allegations on Reddit and other forums saying that Enorma is problematic and has used transphobic language in the past. However, I couldn't find any concrete evidence of this. 
So it appears as though Enorma is unlikely to return to Drag Race due to her behaviour on set, and especially if the host of the show has blocked her. Pearl Pearl competed on Season 7 of Drag Race US and placed runner-up. Throughout Season 7, there was a storyline that Pearl needed to, quote, wake up and that she wasn't trying hard enough. However, this seemed to turn around as the season progressed and she made it to the final four. Pearl racked up two mini challenge wins, but no maxi challenge wins and she fell in the bottom twice, winning both lip syncs. One of the moments Pearl is probably best known for is during episode 5, which was the Despy Awards, where Pearl was partnered with Max. There was a tense moment between Pearl and RuPaul in the workroom when RuPaul said that Pearl didn't have a strong personality. Pearl seemingly didn't take kindly to this and snapped back at RuPaul, and there was an uncomfortable stare off between Pearl and RuPaul. Pearl finally broke the silence by saying, quote, Is there something on my face? And RuPaul said that she wasn't convinced before walking away. Is there something on my face? Yeah. Later in the episode, Pearl and Max ended up winning the challenge, and Pearl thanked RuPaul for giving her the smackdown she needed to wake her up. Pearl later talked about this infamous moment between her and RuPaul during an interview with Hey Queen. In the interview, Pearl said that before they even started filming the season, all the contestants had to film a segment where they recorded their own versions of RuPaul's songs. Pearl said that RuPaul was there, which was a surprise to the queens, and it was the first time Pearl had ever seen RuPaul, who she idolised. Pearl then went on to say that after they had filmed this segment, bearing in mind this was before they had even started filming season 7, the cameras had gone down for a moment, and Pearl took an opportunity to tell RuPaul how much she admired her. And apparently RuPaul responded by saying, quote, Nothing you say matters unless that camera is rolling. And Pearl said that that was the reason why she had, quote, one foot in, one foot out for the entire competition, and she described RuPaul's comments as disrespectful and rotted. After the Hey Queen interview aired, Pearl appeared in an interview with Joseph Shepard, where she confirmed that a producer from the show had called her and said that she would not be welcome back on All Stars because of the comments she had made on Hey Queen. And Pearl has also said on Instagram previously that she would go back on All Stars if she was asked. There was also a video uploaded to Pearl's YouTube channel where Pearl was doing her makeup whilst listening to RuPaul and Michelle's podcast What's the Tea? In the video, Pearl is sipping tea and spits it out when RuPaul and Michelle start talking about that moment in the workroom where Pearl said, is there something on my face? In the clip, RuPaul says, quote, When Pearl said that thing, do I have something on my face? This is what I was thinking. Because I'm a producer of the show, what I wanted to say was different from what I actually said. RuPaul then continued and said, quote, What I really wanted to say was, let me help you pack your effing bags, B, because you're effing out of here now. RuPaul then went on to explain that because Pearl was a cute boy and Ru knew that Pearl was going to be popular on the show, she didn't want to go off on her. And in the video, Pearl is clearly making faces at what Rue and Michelle are saying and implying as though Rue and Michelle are being hypocritical. So given the comment made by the producer that called Pearl and said she wouldn't be welcome back on All Stars, as well as some of the other things Pearl has said about RuPaul on the show, it appears as though she might not be appearing on Drag Race anytime soon. Delta Work Delta Work competed on Season 3 of Drag Race US and placed 7th. Some of you may know this already, but after Delta competed on Season 3, she started working as RuPaul's hairstylist from the second episode of Season 9, and Season 2 contestant Raven took over as Ru's makeup artist. This was because RuPaul's previous makeup artist, Matthew Anderson, had apparently quit suddenly during the start of Season 9 after a dispute. Anyway, Delta worked as RuPaul's hairstylist, and her and Raven actually received an Emmy nomination for their work on season 9. However, this nomination was later rescinded because the nomination was for season 9 episode 1, but Delta and Raven hadn't started working for RuPaul at that point because they only started in episode 2. 
It's quite a complicated story, but the YouTube channel Green Gay did a really good video about this, which you should definitely check out if you want a full explanation of the story, and I'll put a link to the video in the description. Anyway, to cut a long story short, Delta was eligible to win an Emmy for her work on season 10, but she was told that she would have to join a union in order to qualify. Raven agreed to join the union, but Delta refused and said that she couldn't afford the membership fee, which was approximately $5,000. Delta then reportedly was fired from the show, or her contract was simply not renewed, it's down to interpretation, but either way, she no longer works for the show. In fact, in an interview with the podcast Race Chaser, Delta claimed that the producers failed to nominate her for her work on season 10 and then ceased any communication with her when it came time to work on new seasons of the show. And Delta actually left a comment on Green Gay's video giving some further explanation. She said, quote, The production company chose to erase me and hide behind the policy that each production company can remove whoever they want from an Emmy nomination. Delta also said, I believed in them, but not one person stood up behind me to say that I was right. And then she ended the comment by saying, everybody say love, I guess. And Delta has also made other critical comments about Drag Race, such as during an interview with Hey Queen, where she said that there was a lack of diversity on Drag Race and that the show should be more inclusive to different types of drag. So because of all of these reasons, there seems to be some bad blood between Delta and the show, so it seems unlikely that she'll ever be asked back on the show. So there you go, there were five drag queens who have been banned from Drag Race or have had beef with the show. Did you know about any of these already? And which one of these contestants would you most like to see back on the show? Let me know in the comments. I also just want to say that this video is for entertainment purposes only and you should never send the queens or anyone else hateful or mean comments. Let's keep it all nice and friendly, please. As usual, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. And if you could please like, comment or share this video, it would really help to boost the algorithm and promote my video to more people. It's a quick and easy way to show support for my channel and I'd really appreciate it. Please make sure you also follow me on Instagram where I post exclusive did you know fun facts and I also post interactive quizzes and polls in my Instagram stories where you can also interact with other drag race queens and look at their replies. So make sure you follow me at drag tea served on Instagram for some extra content that you won't see on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.